maybe it's the con because uh, Let's recap. On December 1st, 2018, the press announced that 41 had passed. December 3rd is the day that the casket arrives and Washington basically shuts down for like a week and they do the flags at half mass, they do the lies in state in the rotunda building and rituals are performed like the wreath links at ceremony and then the public comes for two days to walk in circles around the casket and stare at it. After the casket sits for these rituals on December 3rd and December 4th, December 5th is the day of the cathedral funeral ceremony, which we haven't gotten to yet. To understand December 5th, you have to understand December 3rd and December 4th. On December 3rd, 2018, the Bush family arrived to the U.S. Capitol. George Bush appears to be convinced that the general is one of the insider DC secret club members. The general made him think this when he said this. If you want to ride, just come. Get in. Mr. President, I was told to ask you about the member you were with yesterday. Well, thank you. A statement suggesting that he is a trusted Bullock. insider. I showed you how the general earned further trust when Bullock. he did this. Bullock. Bullock. And, she oh, and when he did this, really? when we go inside, we see Kevin and Nancy admit that they're filming movies and that the whole thing's like a show. And then apparently, this is a Bullock. ritual and that they're all surrounded by. You're surrounded by the Church of Satan. There seems to be a question of who's in the box. <laughs> what it sounds like is somebody else except over there oh, has really? passed away. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we can't forget this little gem of a joke, stank face, between the Supreme Court justices. Let's add to his legacy this. President Bush's religion, it was a phallic religion. He continued to pray for individuals. <laughs> if you've missed any of what I just recapped, please go back and catch up. So right now, we're still on December 3rd. Up to this point, we've broken down all of the conversations on the stairs between the Bush family and the Bush family and the general. And we looked at the former cabinet members that are standing over on the other side. We've looked at the grandkids and the kids, all of their conversations, and even a bit of foreshadowing. We're in a ritual. Good to see you. You don't say that. I can't believe this. Let's do it for evil. <laughs> At this point, the ceremony part outside is done and everybody's going to start going in. The cabinet has streamed inside and then the Bush family is going to line up to come in after. Our commander in chief is not attending this wreath laying ceremony, but Mike Pence is and he's arriving on the side of the building. Ah, oh, there's wife. It's safe to say now that the general has successfully warmed up to not only GW and Laura Bush, but also Doro, her husband, Mr. Coke, and now Jeb and his wife. While Neil is left with the impression that everyone is cool with the general. While these guys are waiting to go in to the terribly sad ritual, let's go have a look inside. If the president asks for us, you better knock on the door. In this next part, you'll see the total incompetence of the ushers that are supposed to be seating the generals and the cabinet members. 
that director I just showed you lets all of them walk in the wrong way, doesn't say anything, and then one of his little goons tries to redirect every single general through rows of seats to go sit in a completely different aisle. Of course. The military had like three days to pull together perfect formations for a state This funeral. is purely bullshit. Beep. We're going to find out why that crypt keeper is so distracted from doing his job. While this entire section of guests are trying to come in to sit down, this usher stands there watching while everyone just stays confused. There are even short chairs for the general. So you see this guy call over for another chair while people are like <laughs> stupefied. Everyone's looking at the funeral director like he has five heads. In a sec, I'm going to show you how nice she is. Just ignore these guys. This is the funeral director that can't figure out how to seat people. This guy tries to help her with her coat and watch what she does. Moron. This guy, um, in a little bit, we'll get back to him. It's going to be a minute before everybody sits down. The bushes are populating in the back hall waiting also. So let's go look at another part of the room. You better believe this funeral director still is bothering the guests. Seating people is hard. Here comes Pence. Ryan and McConnell and their wives. These guys and a couple unholy speakers will be speaking today. And then we have a bunch of other politicians that are already there waiting before the Bush family comes in. Now remember that a lot of these people do know that this is a ritual. And if you watch their mouths, they some of them actually do the chant. They'll look one way and then when they're moving their head back, they'll they'll like slip it out like this lady. Sometimes they do like chewing air gum before they actually say it. And when they're doing it, they act like they're like distracted somewhere else. So they're, they do it and then they'll move their head around like there's something else going on. It's so weird. Let's watch again. After Wilbur Ross acknowledges Mitch McConnell's wife, I really hope he doesn't say the chant just before Ryan's wife does it. Bullock. Bullock. This guy looks almost as happy as the Bush family. We've seen this guy and this lady behind him and then the lady that got the chair. We've seen all of them at the SOTU. So they work all these same events. I don't know how long he's been in the swamp, but he cannot figure out seating. And he probably ticked off all those generals and made a fool of himself. It's interesting that they work all the same events. They're hell bent on turning all of us just to get him. That camera is filming us. March forward. <laughs> He's faking it. What it sounds like is somebody else except over there oh, has really? passed away. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. He's not even in it. <laughs> These people are so I stupid. Said to someone, Who's in the box? George Bush Senior is gone missing. 
Here we see the bushes filing in behind the box. While the cabinet has their hand over their heart and they're facing the center where the coffin is going to be placed, look at the avoidance body language of Dick Cheney. He is completely turned away. He side shift eyes over to where the casket and the um, military is carrying it, but he like turns his entire body in his face, almost hiding behind Dan Quayle. My dog sometimes does that look when I catch him with garbage wrappers. Bullock. Bullock. Sorry, son. Bark. Bark. That police guy left. <coughs> Let us pray. Bullock. We give you thanks, Almighty God, for the appearance among us of great men and women who serve as inspirations for all Americans to be their best in service to God, country, and neighbor. This day, we honor our 41st President, George H. W. Bush. President Bush dedicated his entire life to public service as a vocation, first in the military, then as a member of Congress, a diplomat, director of the CIA, vice president, and finally president. It is a record of service reminiscent of John Quincy Adams and unmatched in nearly a century. We thank you, oh it's hard to say who knows what kind of prayer this is, but it's different. And the subtle duality in it is noticeable once you're paying attention to it. So some people Bullock. are going along with it. Maybe it's for the camera. Maybe because they think it's to a different God. Paul Ryan and Columba appear to be Catholic. Military. Then as a member I recommend going back and really listening to these priests speak. I'm not sure what kind of priests they are, but remember this. I bet they're going to have a priest that's a Satanist. If you see his pen, this guy has one on, and so does most of the Bush family. We thank you, O oh God, for having endowed President Bush with noblesse oblige. Old swamp friends with George Bush, Mitch McConnell is the first up to speak. Years ago, on the west front of this capital, George Herbert Walker Bush addressed the nation for the first time as our president and our liberty, and flanked by statues of his fellow champions whom he joined in making that story possible. George Bush was just a teenager when he volunteered for military service and became the Navy's youngest aviator. He was only 20 on that September day in 1944 when his plane was hit <laughs> on a bombing run. <laughs> but through the fire and Find smoke, him. George Bush stayed steady at the controls. Only once he accomplished his mission did he parachute out over the Pacific. He played it. A steady it. hand, staying the course. He played steady it. hand, staying the course. That's what George Bush gave us for decades. Decorated aviator, congressman, the plan. ambassador to, to the United Nations, envoy to China, CIA director, eight years as vice president, and our commander-in-chief. Through the Cold War and the Soviet Union's collapse, he kept us on course. 
When the rule of law needed defending in the Persian Gulf, he kept us on course. With his even temperament and hard work, it's all made up. Hard won the Cold War expertise and the Soviet George Union's collapse. Herbert Walker Bush, he kept us on course. Let's say it's all made up. Let's say that they've done the some things. This is not the look of remorse. This is not someone to pity or feel sorry for. George Herbert Walker Bush steered this country as... Justifies the deeds by the accomplishments. The patriot who lies before us was blessed with many gifts. The grace and the glory to achieve status of gods. Bullock! He cries, most of all. A great love story began at that Christmas dance when George Bush met Barbara Pierce. And the grace and virtue. They taught their children Bullock. have enriched this nation through a family of leaders. Today, the nation stands with that family with our 43rd and that they may now be reunited Bless in the light Blue 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 of his grace. Bullock! Bullock! Here lies a great man, honored to celebrate this wonderful life with you. We're honored to celebrate this wonderful life with you. Like so many, mm. I feel a personal debt of gratitude today. Mm. A sense he that no doubt countless millions of Americans are feeling at this moment. The 1988 campaign... And that how you handle that, that is just as important as how you win. Glory is transcendent in the life of our republic. This rotunda is a trumpet call to glory. Tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky. Hold his son's hand at the National Cathedral after 9-11. There's this letter he wrote his children on the last day of 1990 as he wrestled with a decision over Operation Desert Storm. He begins by recounting the family Christmas. He elaborates and he apologizes on his struggle over sending young Nonsense. Americans into harm's way. Every human life is precious. George Herbert Walker Bush. <laughs> A gentle soul he eats of the firm soul. Look at their expressions. He Let's watch again. A gentle soul he eats of the firm soul. He showed us that how we live, the 41st president of the United States. Done. I've seen Please enough be of done. him. Who would have known? They see themselves as great gods on the earthly plane before the heavens. His memory will belong to glory. Pence is up to speak. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at I double underscore love underscore Trump.